the 76 leaderboard is sponsored by 76 gasoline provided in Hawaii by locally owned Mid-Pack Petroleum. 2010 WAC assist leader, Boise State. Nesselhop. The freeze of New Mexico State, then Mafua of Hawaii. Bowles comes in next week for Utah State. Ball hit over by Snow. Guy Hui, Mafua, Danielson. Backed up on that in the air by Rogers. Hard sock. Ball is put over, but they say out by Carpenter. Carpenter really having her problem. She's hitting negative right now. Five kills, six errors. Not like her. She's usually a team leader in kills and usually hits for a decent percentage. Hawaii leading 16 to 12. Maeda serving. Hartsock in the air. Overpass put down by Hewitt. Another mistake by Brigham Young. Hawaii now leading 17 to 12. Brigham Young calls a timeout. Hawaii is, has a, a run of five points in a row. The hard hit is sponsored by Ace Hardware, Hawaii Ace, the helpful place. Tony Danielson, as usual, delivering the hard hit right there at Hartsock. Libero for BYU Watch. Hartsock right there just takes a shot. And Kanani, when she hits that hard, like I said before, she needs to pass out helmets. And the back row violation against uh, Brigham Young. That point goes to Hawaii. Dave shows you now got some substitutes going with Uyato and Goodman. And I added the serve, 18 serving 12. Almost an overpass. And another back row attack on Brigham Young. This is not good. This is not good. Brigham Young trying to hang in there, and it's slipping. Yeah, exactly. The pass is just too tight to the net. And, uh, and the setter, you know, Rogers just goes up, and she's just trying to handle the ball well, but it's, when it goes over, it becomes an attack. Snow gets it over, comes back. Good save that time by Rogers. Guy Hui, Uyato, Hewitt. Hawaii leading 20 to 12, and all of a sudden it was a boomlet of activity. Hawaii just put their game together, stepped on the accelerator, and they're gone. You know, K5 saves you money. Dine out and just pay half. Purchase dining gift certificates at half price. Log on to K5, thehometeam.com, and click the link to just pay half. Twenty to twelve. Tuaninga has come in uh, to the game. Christiana Tuaninga from Carson, California, serving as Maeda. Back set ball is put over by Snow, over in the corner. Great save by Daniels, getting the ball across is Uyato. Ball hit by Carpenter, dug up by Uyato. Danielson. That ball in the air by Clark. That's a big block by Toninga. They call her TK. She comes up big right there. Right there, single block in front of Clark. From a Fab 50 player. Rogers. Ball goes off the block. And a good hit that time by uh, Warner. Twininga's third block of her career there. Soon will serve. 13 serving 21. Guy Hui, Twininga. Goodman, that's block. Goodman hit it right into the block of uh, Carpenter and Warner. And the one area, the one statistic that BYU continues to dominate in is blocking. That's their 10th block to Hawaii's seventh. Soon serving. Danielson. Danielson just overwhelmed the block, just overwhelmed it. The block was put up there to handle a certain kind of shot, but that shot found it obsolete. 
That was just a power shot that time by Danielson. Coming into the game for Hawaii is Alex Griffiths. 22 to 14. She's put in there to finish up. Soon cross court. Carpenter, Uiato, Griffiths, Danielson. Danielson hit that ball off soon. 23 14. How about some credit to little Griffey, Alex Griffiths, who goes in and bumps sets the ball straight up. Very tight to the net. Griffith to serve. Hartsock goes to Rogers. And that ball is blocked as trying to hit that ball back in was Warner. We are at match point. This is the Loma ball for this match. Griffith serving for Hawaii. That ball dug up by Clark. Hit by Carpenter. Carpenter with a tough angle makes it 24 to 15. Hanson comes into the game at 6-6. Serving will be Carpenter. BYU must play perfectly for a long period of time. Dug up overpass. Ball is put down by Hanson. That ball is dug up by Maeda. And it's 24 to 16. Carpenter to serve again. Into the net. This match is over. Carpenter. Carpenter can only blame herself on that last point. 25-16. Hawaii wins the third set. They sweep the match. It is the second straight night that they have swept Brigham Young. And for Brigham Young over the course of the season, it is only the second time that they have been swept. More to come. There you see the story of this match tonight. Hawaii winning their 10th of the season. They are now 10 and 1. Over Brigham Young, close again in the first set, 25-23. After that, Hawaii dominated 25-13, 25-16. Most outstanding players from Brigham Young, Jennifer Hampson. She had eight kills in three blocks. And from Hawaii, Chantil Satelli, 10 kills and 14 digs. Most outstanding player awards are sponsored by Bank of Hawaii. More to come. Hawaii winning tonight in three, another sweep over Brigham Young. The Red Star Moment is sponsored by Heineken. Give yourself a good name. And it's the 1,000th kill in her career by Kanani Danielson. This set is not a great set, but Danielson is able to have enough on it that it will come back and down. Good diving dig that time. And then there you see it. Now you would think that all of the kills that Danielson has, including the ones that break the sound barrier, <laughs> you, would, you would think that would be the thousand kill, but <laughs> kills come in all shapes and sizes, and that's number 1,000 for Kanani Danielson. Now we talk about uh, the WAC season, the Western Athletic Conference, and the teams that are going to come in here next week. Two teams uh, will come in. It will be, uh, of course, Utah State followed by Nevada, Utah State on Thursday, Nevada on Friday. Hawaii seems primed and ready uh, to be the heavy favorite again. But Utah State seems to have some get up and go this year. They do. And, you know, Hawaii finished tonight, I thought, on a really positive note. Uh, the scores were very similar to last night. But uh, Hawaii, uh, Brigham Young, I thought, played better. And Hawaii had to up their game in order to, to finish off this um, this pesky BYU team and playing that well the week before the whack starts couldn't have come at a better time and certainly Hawaii was still licking their wounds from the, the USC match which I thought was a very difficult one for them uh, and, and now they play maybe the toughest team in the whack right off the bat Utah State uh, I believe is 10 and 1 as we speak and uh, they, they beat this BYU team in five but uh, people tell me that Utah State team is very good and will give Hawaii a, a good test. And then the next night, Nevada is always good. Um, they, have, they don't have a great team this year, but they, they'll present some problems. 
Uh, so hopefully Hawaii fans will continue to support the Rainbow Wahine. Tomorrow afternoon, the Rainbow Wahine soccer team will wrap up the Outrigger Hotel and Resort Soccer Classic at the Waipio Peninsula Soccer Stadium in Waipahu. In the final game of the three-day three-team round-robin tournament, the Pepperdine Wave meet up with Hawaii. Live coverage will begin at 5 in the afternoon right here on K5, the home team. For Chris McLaughlin, this is Jim Leahy. Thanks for watching, everybody. This has been another exclusive sports presentation of K5, the home team.